Hello everybody, Andrea here. So let's talk about desensitizers. So do you have a patient or you're probably thinking about several patients where they come in and their teeth are just simply cold sensitive, likely due to gingival recession. I don't want you to just tell them to stop brushing too hard. Okay, that's true. They have to stop brushing too hard if that's the issue, but you want to help them while they're there, okay? Don't just sort of tell them the easy way out, well, stop brushing too hard. Here's a sensitive type of toothpaste. There you go. You should be applying a desensitizer on those areas of gingival recession to really help to coat that area so they hopefully don't become more sensitive. Plus the sensitivity that they have now, you're basically putting a coating over top. I tell my patients, it's like a car wax for your car. You're covering the whole surface to protect your car, so your tooth, against the outside elements. Whether that's a good analogy, I don't know. <laughs> But then I also tell somebody, if I'm talking to a female, it's like a good hair conditioner for your hair. You need to protect your hair. You will start to notice if you don't use a hair conditioner, the difference it makes. Same thing with a desensitizer. A desensitizer, I apply at every single appointment for them when I see my patients, whether that be three months, six months, nine months, I will take the time to reapply. I have had patients tell me that it works wonders, that it works amazing. So I'm going to show you guys the desensitizer that I use. I used to use a Gluma desensitizer. I believe you have to light cure that. Sorry, I can't remember because it's been such a long time since I've used it, but I found it just didn't work for a lot of people, maybe in 10% of patients, plus it was very expensive. So I was on the hunt for something that worked better and I found something. So I really like oral science. Um, just a little note as well, they're not paying me to do the video, okay, you guys? Um, I don't get paid to do reviews, so you truly know that this is an honest review of mine. Not saying that I wouldn't be opposed to getting paid to doing it, but I'm just not at this time. So Crystal in-office desensitizer, I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom. This is amazing. They even have a video of how to apply it. Um, let's see, I haven't actually watched the video yet. Um, sorry guys, I'm just kind of showing you. So it's like, oh, did I fast forward too far? I'm gonna turn the sound off while I talk actually, that's not a bad idea. So if you guys can see the video, okay, you literally apply it with a micro brush. Notice how it's a very thin micro brush. Actually, I should make this bigger for you guys, sorry. So that's how you apply it with a very thin micro brush over the areas of gingival recession. You do not have to light cure it. The key about this one is it's not a simple sweep across, it's like a padding because you want it to work with that tooth enamel, with a dentin that's likely exposed and just really help to have that overall protective coating over it. And they even have exactly how to use it. Um, it does say here to use a, lar um, a larger micro brush or a cotton pellet, but I found with cotton pellets, it just simply would soak up too much of the liquid. So then I would be going to apply it to the tooth and there wouldn't be any liquid on there. So I'd have to add more of the actual drops, which gets expensive, which is fine if it works. But I just found that with a micro brush, as they had shown here in the video, it worked just fine. So this is the website, guys. I'll leave the link for you on the bottom, but this is the best um, desensitizer that I have tried. I won't go back to anything else. You might be wondering, do I charge for desensitizer? You know what? To be honest, I don't. Um, I probably should start charging for it because it's about, what's the price of this? I don't remember. It's been a while since I bought it because a little bit goes a long way. I want to say two or $300. Does it have a price here? Um, I haven't logged into my account, so it might not have a price. Oh, okay. So it says it's $98.99, so actually cheaper than I thought. Um, so do I charge my patients for it? I do not, but I suppose I really could. Um, typically in a, in a dental office, the desensitizing code is $45, I believe, but it's also not covered by a lot of insurance companies. So this is where it gets tricky. Do I charge people who have insurance and it's covered for it, but then I don't charge other people? That's not right. Um, or if a patient tells me they can't afford it, do I just basically say, okay, well, this will really help your teeth. Um, 
oh, well, I'm not going to put it on. So that's kind of my ethical dilemma. That's just why I don't charge it. If somebody has sensitive teeth, I put it on. Um, if they're not covered for it, well, they don't have to worry about it. But as I'm doing this video, I probably should charge $10 for it. So at least I'm making some money against the cost of the bottle. And, you know, I don't want to say everybody can afford $10 because that's not true. But I also find that if patients are really that sensitive and something like works for them, they will pay the price for it. Think about yourself. If you were in pain, like from your teeth being so cold sensitive, and then we can put a thin layer over it to make you not sensitive anymore, then you would probably pay for that, right? So I probably will start charging for it after this video. But let me know, you guys, if you have any questions. You don't like here this desensitizer. It does work right away. It's amazing. If the patient says that it didn't really work for them, it just means that they need another coat. As with anything, for some things for the patient, it works right away. Other times, it takes a couple applications. The next time, you could always have them come in and reapply it again um, a couple weeks later. I'm a mobile um, dental hygienist, so I would not just go to somebody's house to reapply it unless they're really close to another patient or something, because I clearly don't need all of my equipment to just apply the desensitizer. But I do have patients that see me every three months just to put on the desensitizer because it does work that amazing. I also wanted to mention you guys with the desensitizer, I really like to recommend a toothpaste that's also sold by Oral Science. It's called um, Remin. I'm going to find that for you guys right now, just to show you. I like to recommend this toothpaste too, because what this actually does, I'm sharing my screen right now, is this has the same components that's in the desensitizer in a toothpaste. So it's like they're constantly reapplying that protective coating. Now this contains xylitol, you guys. So it, it does not contain any um, sodium um, fluoride varnish. So I do also like to suggest a mouthwash with the fluoride. So they're still getting the benefits of that. So that's kind of another video, you guys. Um, I talk more about that too, but I'm just gonna show you the mouthwash that I recommend along with this toothpaste just to really help because yes, this might help their sensitive teeth, but if they don't have a toothpaste with any um, sodium um, fluoride in it, well, they're not getting the benefits of the anti-caries activity, right? So their sensitivity might be better, but they're, if they're getting cavities, well, that's certainly not helping. Um, so just to show you guys quickly, sorry, I apply, or I'm sorry, I give them, I suggest this Opti Rinse, 0.02. Um, oh, they have a larger size now, I just noticed. Anyways, <laughs> sorry, I did not know they had a larger size. Um, this one I do recommend because this has xylitol and sodium fluoride. Again, you guys, um, oral science isn't paying me for, do the, for doing this video. These are just the products that I do honestly use. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.